Perhaps a spell might help us here. Revelio. These pillars are pyres, and pyres are meant to be lit. You got the mallow, sweet to work. Now, what to do about these pyres? Conjuring fire might work. These are pyres, after all. Incendio!
Perhaps a spell might help us here. You got the mallow sweet to work. Now, what to do about these pyres? Conjuring fire might work. These are pyres, after all. Perhaps a spell might help us here. These pillars are pyres, and pyres are meant to be lit.
conjuring fire might work. These are pyres, after all. Make the pyres sink. Curious, the pyres are back where they started. Clearly, all three of these pyres are meant to be lit. Incendio! If you don't like the others quickly enough. Incendio! Yeah. Hmm. Try lighting all of the pyres before any finish sink. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books.
After what Van Rock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. An encampment? This must be it. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Example. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. How many of you are there? How nice of you. Hmm.
Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. How many of you are there? Oh, Incendiary! I'm not human, the one power! I won't rest until you're... Let me use I know I heard something that that intruder. Lumos. Potato. Let me Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to on.
Revelio. Pavelio. Revelia. Revelio.
Bevelio. Revelia. Here. Levioso. Eight legs is simply too many.
Velio. If you're here for my wares, I'm... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Why don't you have a little peruse? Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I've always said that travel broadens the mind.
I should investigate. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after Rebellion. the incident of Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent. Now, which he is. is it two pinches of Angelica or three? Revelia. Yes, Professor Vince does draw it on a bit. But have you ever got him really talking about Goblin Rebellion? Knows everything. Still boring, but in practice.
Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Thwooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fulper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fulper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well-prepared witch or wizard. When brewing potions. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more.
Here's the fupa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Not again! Oh! Dragon no. dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his Rebellion. own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Pavelio. said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Don't get me started. Ugh, oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Rebellion.
half a bottle of lavender. I certainly make sure I clear the rest of my It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Quite a few hamlets outside of Hogsmeade. It's rather unique. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented. This place has seen better days. Revelia.
doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Historically speaking, there's never been a scheme like this year's Kevin's Crack. Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult to find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. I suppose I could, but why should I spend my time on a glorified errand? It is much more than a glorified errand, to be sure. I dare say you'll find my proposal intriguing. Please, hear me out. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlery. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaws. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery. Oh, one would think. However, the Headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts. Always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. 
astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand making is. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Ah, you've brought hope to this old one maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Off on another adventure, are we? Statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls.
Don't mind me, Owls. I'm here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. No statues here. I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> Nothing. Here's a welcome surprise. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Yeah. Oh, this will do nicely. No statues here. Mm, nothing. Hmm, I'd best keep looking. Thank you. No statues here. Mm, nothing. Here's a welcome surprise.
Hmm. I'd best keep looking. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So, Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom? Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. I think I can guess how you died. But who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family want? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons, but as you can see, I never got the chance. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a... Well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. <laughs> 